Alex Earls. Alex Earl. Alex Earl. Alex Earl. Alex Earl. Alex Earl. Get ready with me to go apartment hunting in Miami. If you're anything like me, you're probably addicted to TikTok and you probably already know who Alex Earl is, but you clicked on this video anyways. This gorgeous blonde hair, blue eyed babe has literally taken over the app with her get ready with me and lifestyle videos. But who is she and where did she come from? I feel like she literally just popped up on my For You page back in January and has been there ever since with her millions of followers, especially with the comments on other people's beauty videos like You're My Alex Earl. Those are my favorites. I've definitely told someone they were my Manny MUA. She's definitely on the top of everyone's minds and has been the inspiration for so many lifestyle videos, including my own. When she does her get ready with me style videos, she films them and talks to the camera as if she's just on FaceTime with her best friend, which is exactly how her followers feel, which is essentially what draws people to her. But she's been making TikToks like these since 2020. So what brought her up so fast? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Chronically Online, where we deep dive into influencers, trends, and weird internet finds. Alex Earl is one of my main inspirations for starting this series, since she literally just came out of nowhere. Personally, I love finding where people came from, how they got started, and how they got to where they are. This is not a tea channel, so don't expect me to dive too far into any controversies uh, that any of these people may have been involved in. Maybe. We'll see how this series goes. But we're gonna learn more about trendy people like Alex Earl, Elise Myers, um, and trends like blind items and growing TikTok trends. Hopefully we can stay up to date with the trends that are growing smaller accounts so that way if you're a smaller creator watching these videos, you can jump on the trend and gain some followers and help your account. Alex Earl or Alex Earl Drake is a 22 year old Florida based TikToker slash influencer who makes get ready with me story time and lifestyle videos for her 4.7 million TikTok followers. This blonde girl is a Sagittarius with a December birthday and is in her senior year at the University of Miami in the Herbert Business School. I've seen multiple articles stating that she's studying marketing or she's studying business administration. Either way, both are great bachelor's degrees that are gonna get her a job in pretty much any field that she wants once she's done with social media. Alex graduated in 2019 from Red Bank Catholic High School back in Monmouth County, New Jersey. Hopefully I said that right. She's got four siblings, one being Ashton Earl, who is a more low-key content creator on TikTok. Her father runs an extremely successful construction business called Earl, and Alex was actually a marketing intern for her father's business. She even created their 2020 Earl Thanksgiving card that was sent out to their customers. Something really interesting that I learned about her dad's business was that they put an American flag on each piece of their construction equipment, uh, which was a tradition that they started after 9-11. Unfortunately, back in 2008, her dad did have a very public divorce from her mother, Alyssa Earl. According to the tabloids, he had been seen cheating on her mother, but I believe that's unconfirmed. Alyssa Earl tends to keep a low profile, but obviously supports her daughter with every move that she makes. Now, Alex's stepmom is a little bit of a different story. Ashley Dupree, who married her father, came to the family with three children from a previous relationship and calls Ashton and Alex her bonus kids, which I love that. I think that's such a cute term. I won't be touching much on this subject since, like I said, this isn't necessarily a tea channel, but she was caught in an escorting service but other than that, she seems to be an amazing addition to the Earl family. Okay, now that we have her background out of the way, let's talk about Alex. In the fall of 2022, she had just under 300,000 followers on TikTok. 
And then within just six days in December of 2022, she gained over 600,000 followers. As of today, she sits at 4.7 million followers on TikTok with a combined number of likes being 239.5 million. Can you imagine having that many likes? Because I can't. And she's also got 2.3 million followers on Instagram and she's got a net worth of about $1.5 million. I literally don't think I'll even see that much money in my life ever. So where did these 600,000 followers come from? To figure this out, we need to start with her ex-boyfriend, MLB player Tyler Wade. Now I'm going to be totally honest. I know not a single thing about sports, none whatsoever. So I couldn't tell you anything except that he just seems to be a really popular baseball player. Back in December of 2020, uh, her viewers speculated that they may have broken up, which was later confirmed. Damn, y'all broke up? Nah, she broke. I'm up. I just know he's watching her and her 4.7 million followers and her sponsored posts that go for $70,000 and he's crying. So Alex addressed the situation in an interview saying that they had been fighting for a while. Pretty much their final straw was when they attended a wedding together, took plenty of pictures together, and he only posted his own selfies. Alex was often upset that he would never post on his social media of them together, rightfully so. I just want to say that if your significant other is absolutely refusing to post you on their social media, but they post themselves, please take caution with your partner. While I know social media is not a big deal to some people, if they're posting themselves and they're not posting you, something shady is probably going on behind the scenes. Don't fall for the, I just like my personal life to be personal, or I just don't want my family and friends like knowing every single thing that's going on in my life please for the love of god it's usually a lie anyways alex said that they ended up meeting for lunch in this past january and talked things over and ended up um being on good terms in my personal opinion i think he just wanted to make things right because he sees how popular she's getting and how much money she's making right now and he doesn't want to be just a joke to her you're still kind of a joke to all of us though Sorry. So she's also gained popularity from sharing her cystic acne story, posting about her four month long journey with Accutane. Honestly, as someone who's struggled with um, acne growing up and still gets more than the occasional breakouts, it's always really validating to see someone so gorgeous and popular with so many followers um, that has, you know, a similar story to a lot of us that have struggled with acne. See, not everyone is perfect. She's also shared her story about um, struggling with depression and anxiety and her plastic surgery journey. She's been very open with her followers about her breast augmentation and her lip fillers, which honestly, I really give her props to being so open because as we know, a lot of these influencers are not so honest about things. And that usually really tends to break the trust between the creator and the followers. She also takes her followers along with her when she goes to some of the most amazing experiences some people can only dream about going to. She's been to Miley Cyrus's New Year's Eve party, the Rare Beauty Blush launch party, that was a mouthful, uh, where she got her makeup done right alongside Selena Gomez, uh, the Road Beauty brand event, ugh. Uh, New York Fashion Week, the 2023 Super Bowl, and Drake's 36th birthday party. Okay, I don't really care for Drake as a person, but like, can you imagine like Drake calling you up and being like, hey, come to my birthday party. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't Drake. I'm sure it was one of his like PR people, but like, I'll never experience that in my entire life. Ariana Grande, if you're watching this, I would love to come to your birthday party sometime. I will pay you to go. All right. So before we get to the TLDR of why Alex Earl is taking social media by storm, 
we have to talk about how much she's charging for sponsored posts. I think this is one of the really big things that a lot of people talk about when it comes to Alex Earl. According to most sources I found, she usually charges anywhere from $40,000 to $70,000 per post, which is literally more than a year's salary for a lot of people, including myself. A lot of people question if her followers are going to end up gaining resentment towards her for making so much money, um, especially now that they're aware of how much she's charging and telling her followers to go check out this product. I think one of the big reasons that a lot of people may end up being upset that she's charging this much for a sponsored post and companies are willing to pay this much for a sponsored post is usually because they're not paying their own employees a livable wage. And I can definitely see how that's an issue. Um, I mean, I've seen plenty of jobs on Indeed that are not offering a livable wage. Like, it's 2023. Do you know how much eggs cost right now? They cost a lot. And you want to offer me $13 an hour? But I think one thing that we have to remember is while Alex is charging this much, it's the companies that are willing to pay this much. Alex isn't the one deciding how much to put into their marketing campaign. Alex isn't deciding how much the company is going to be paying their employees. It's essentially the company that is saying, yeah, we'll pay $70,000 for one post. If you look at her following and her engagement, you can come to the conclusion that she probably really has a really good ROI, which is why a lot of companies are willing to pay that much. So that being said, if you are one of the people who has an issue that she's charging so much for a post, remember to take that out on the company and not Alex. Another thing that people are pointing out is with as much money as Alex is making, is she going to become unrelatable? You'll see a lot of influencers who have ended up making a lot of money. Let's take Jaclyn Hill, for example. I watched her from the beginning and I would say she's definitely changed as a person. Um, you know, I know Alex has only had her followers for maybe three to four months, um, but in my eyes, she's probably one of the most relatable influencers on the platform. And she's just a girl who's doing get ready with me and lifestyle videos and has the chance to go to all of these amazing events that I, I will never be able to go to in my life. And I'd love to see that someone was able to grow their platform and be able to accomplish these things. So why is Alex Earl so popular? Honestly, I think it's just the fact that people loved her. Um, as someone who's just recently discovered her within the past couple of months, I can absolutely understand why. I love watching her videos. She's always doing her makeup in a hurry. She lives with, I think, about five or six roommates, and her room is not always immaculate or spotless and super clean, which is something I think um, a lot of us normal people can relate to. I, I would say she's probably one of the most relatable influencers in this era of influencers right now and I love it. Who have you seen on your feed that you want to know more about? Leave a comment down below to add to my list. Some of the amazing headline videos um, that I have planned and prepared for include the internet's favorite big sister, Ali Yost, the Meredith Duxbury Foundation craze, Chris Olsen from Saddening Breakup to Megan Trainer's. BFF, Amber Scholl, I'm obsessed, you're obsessed, let's be honest, we're all obsessed, and my favorite one that I can't wait to get to is blind items. I'm sorry, but what the fuck are blind items, and why do we believe them? There's one girl that pops up on my timeline consistently, you want more, I'll give you more, and I don't understand them. I don't understand where she gets them. I don't understand who's coming out with these. I wanted to say making them up because I feel like they're literally all made up, but I need to know more. I want more. Give me more, but answers. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Like I said, leave a comment down below. Tell me some of the influencers or trends that you just genuinely want to know more about. And make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all of the good things of the internet. And I'll see you next time.